Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I'm a mom vlogger. I like to vlog about being in a blended family, taking care of my two kiddos, virtual learning, my work schedule, anything mommy related. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. Welcome to today's vlog. We, guys, I'm exhausted. I had my nephew over the weekend, and he's like nine months old. Um, he slept all night, but I did not. I kept getting up to check on him I just to make sure everything was okay. And then yesterday I spent all day at like, my parents' house making Irish potatoes. And I'm so tired. So Anthony didn't come with me yesterday, so it was just me and the kids for like all three of them um, from 10 a.m. until my sister showed up around 1. Um, Ollie did take a nap in the middle of the day, but it was like still chaos like my mom's house has like three dogs <laughs> and like ollie was not eating and he was being crazy so yeah it was just a bunch of craziness but i do have a funny video of like the kids and my dad playing with snowballs like the fake snowballs that anthony's mom bought ollie i took those over and it was hilarious um so ollie kept getting into a snowball fight with my dad um and then I have some pictures of Jaden and Ollie. They wore the same pajamas and it was super cute. They both wore like dinosaur pajamas. Um... <laughs> But Jaden was like really good. It was just the fact that I just did not get much sleep this weekend and I'm exhausted. Um, I'm waiting for Ollie to wake up. Lily's got a dentist appointment at 2 o'clock. So we're going to be doing busy things. Um, so yeah, that's what day's looking like. Lily's at school until lunchtime and then I'm not going to send her back because of her dentist appointment. And Ollie and I are going to be working on potty training because... He's just not getting any better with that. The last couple of days I've been just leaving him naked because that seems to work a lot better. Um, and I've also been using my timer. If you've not watched my potty training video of like what we bought, um, I'll leave it linked down below. Um, I have a timer that we're setting to like every 15 minutes and I've been taking him upstairs. He is yet to pee on the potty, but he's pooped like two or three times. So... I will say that's an accomplishment, but it's not, like, I don't think he's motivated at all to go on the body. Like, he just doesn't care. But we are getting to the point where he is just not fitting into four to five T pull-ups anymore. Um, they're starting to get a little snug around his waist. He's pulling at them. It seems like they're a bit uncomfortable. So I think I might have to buy, like, the padded underwear and go from there because the padded underwear at least will absorb the pee if he pees um but not like i'll have to frequently change them more often than like him going to the bathroom in a pull-up so i think switching to those underwear might motivate him to go on the potty um but i don't want to rush him <laughs> um he does have fun going up there and doing things it's just i don't want to cause a huge issue with it um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. If you see a naked butt cheek, just look the other way. <laughs> okay, so I have this little one next to me. We ate breakfast. I made quiche. I made brownies. I made myself a coffee because I'm literally dying. Um, Lily's upstairs in school right now. We're just hanging out. He's watching TV because he is miserable. Like I said, we spent a lot of time with my parents yesterday. He did take a nap, but I don't think it was very long it wasn't long at all it was between like 12 and like 1 30 he woke up um so usually he sleeps between two to three hours and it just was not long enough yesterday along with the fact that his nap ran late so yeah um he's naked well he's got a diaper on but i spiked up his hair and it was really cute 
Um, I got a package, um, but it was only Lily's flip-flops, which I'm putting in her Easter basket. I will be doing an Easter basket, like what I got my kids for Easter video, along with like what I got Lily for her birthday, which I pretty much finished. Um, so probably gonna film that this week along with um, finishing off the Easter basket stuff, which I think I might head to Target today and grab that. I also need to grab Anthony a lunchbox because we've been talking about like him ordering out and stuff. Like the only thing near him is a like 7-Eleven and a Dunkin' Donuts. So he pretty much just eats from there every single time he goes to work. And it's honestly just like keeping his stomach upset and stuff like that. So. I'm thinking of trying to figure out how to keep his stuff hot. But our biggest issue is keeping things hot compared to like keeping things cold. We could just put an ice pack in. But we, like if I made dinner the night before and he wants to take over leftovers, how does he keep it hot because he's on the go? Like he doesn't have a place to heat it up or anything. Um, so if you have any recommendations on how to keep like on the go items hot other than like, um, like bowls, like a chili bowl, like a thermos bowl um i'm talking like keeping like chicken warm so i need to find some sort of way i'm keeping like dinners hot in his bag so if you have any recommendations please let me know like i said he doesn't have a microwave and he's in a trash truck so he has nowhere to like heat it up um so yeah so now I have to find like ways to keep him interested in the food that I'm packing because he's like He doesn't really like I Guess he does he pretty much eats quiche like every morning But he like changes up like which goes in the quiche and like how he makes it so I Guess I could make him the same thing like pretty much every day and he would still eat it You see yourself <laughs> Anthony called me and said that he is on his way home. I'm hoping to God that he's home before I have to leave for this dentist appointment. Just because Ali is still dead asleep and I really don't want to wake him up and have to take him with me. So yeah, it might just be me and Lily. I had her go and brush her teeth because she ate lunch. Um, and then we're going to head there. Ollie had like some chicken nuggets and french fries left over from yesterday from lunch and he still isn't eating that so I don't know what his problem is. Lil, how excited are you that you might get braces? I'm really excited! <laughs> Lily's just way too excited to get braces. I don't know what her problem is. I want left ones and then I'm going to teach it to colors. She's weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, then he's like... On his way home, I don't know how long he's gonna take, but if he's not here by 1.30, we definitely just have to leave. I'm gonna have to just wake him up and take him with me. Um, his bag is still packed from yesterday, so that's just what I'm gonna do and grab that, along with the iPad, and try to keep him as calm as possible while Lily's in there doing her thing. Um, but yeah, Man. I actually have to make an appointment for his de dentist appointment too. I might not get them today, because that one baby too. You're not gonna get them today. She has to go, I have to make an appointment with a orthodontist to start getting her checked up for braces because her teeth are definitely crooked. Um, but she still has a baby tooth that needs to come out. One baby tooth. Doesn't matter, still one has to come out. So yeah, I, I'm just like nervous. I'm starting to like freak out because I really don't want to take Ollie with me. Hey Lou, how are you feeling? Terrible. Why? My tongue hurts. It doesn't hurt, it's just numb. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, it's not. It's literally yours. All you do is eat candy at your dad's house. How's that my fault? Hmm? Where do I want to Maybe you should tell your dad to stop giving you Krabby Patties sandwiches. I don't eat Krabby Patties anymore. Well, you used and to. I, I eat Krabby Patty sliders. And they're just as bad. <laughs> they're bigger. Lily had to get a filling today and she's not happy about it. My lip looks like this. It looks the same. No. Look in the mirror. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, you just want to be a baby. <laughs> I'm home now. Lily is with her dad. She got picked up today, it's Monday. 
Anthony and the little one are walking down the steps. I went to my sister's and I fixed the crib and the stroller that she needed me to do. I also dropped off Irish potatoes at Nicotara's house. It is now like four o'clock, I think. What time is it? It is 4.17. 4.17, and because it's so late and I don't feel like cooking right now after doing all that busy stuff, we're putting a pizza in the oven. If you haven't been to Aldi's, they have three dollar pizzas, 16 inch, perfect. So that's what we're doing for dinner. I'm still waiting for my bed to be delivered. I'm kinda mad about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with this one, who is very angry. Why are you so angry? Hello? Look. Hello, would you go all the way upstairs for a banky? And I have them too, in my pocket. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, buddy. Look. Hey, it's you, on the camera. <gasps> So he actually said bye to Buddy, can you say bye? <laughs> Looking rough now. Um, I had to give Ollie a bath because he refused to give one, get one from Anthony. But Anthony's putting him down to sleep. I think his teeth are really bothering him. And I know this is an excuse for everything, but he literally, I've said this multiple times, he teeths on and off so bad that it's horrible. Like every two days, it's like worse. Um, so now he's going to bed, and I just showed you guys that I am ovulating today. Yay! I've honestly been, like, tracking my ovulation for, like, 10 plus days. I think it's been 10 days of doing the strip test along with, like, the ovulating test. And to be honest, I recommend those digital ones. They're really good because... Through my app, it was telling me that I was already ovulating, and the sh strip tests are really hard to um, see. Um, you could tell on some of them they're pretty dark, so I was assuming that I was already ovulating. But today, I took the strip test and the digital, and they both came up, like, really dark. So, I suggest getting the digital ones if you're going to try having babies, because they work so much better. I would have stopped trying with the strips already thinking I already ovulated because of the app but I kept going because the digital one said I was at a high I was at a high fertility right now but I wasn't at my highest peak so yeah though that really helped so if you watch my um trying to conceive video and I'm like struggling to conceive I mentioned those so I totally recommend um but yeah, Lily is on her way home. She actually has to do her homework because she wasn't able to do it because of the dentist and then she went straight to her dad's. Um, so she's gonna do her homework and then head off to bed because she's got school in the morning. Lily lost her tablet last week because she was on her tablet during school hours and I leave her tablet in there trusting her to just charge it and you know, not be on it. And I went out there one day and she was on it and then I checked like the screen time and she was on it literally all day. It would have been a different story if she was only on it for like three minutes or something but she was literally on it all day. And then I asked her about it and she lied to me and said she wasn't on it so she kind of like lying made it a lot worse. Um, but like she lost it for a week and now I kind of feel bad that I took it from her and now she's been like using like Ollie's tablet and her phone more often and just like it's not even phasing her so I kind of feel like it's whatever like I'm not as strict as I think I am but certain things I'm super strict on like I don't play when it comes to hitting I don't play about lying those types of things are just not acceptable not acceptable in my house but I'm like super lenient with like when she gets in trouble, she's still sitting on the step for like 10 minutes or she goes to her room for 10 minutes, but that's pretty much it. Or she loses like her electronics, but I'm not like super big on like taking away snacks or like punishing her for long periods of time because Lily is the type of kid who like feels disappointed in herself like really quickly. And with Ollie, he doesn't even care. He doesn't care that I put him on the step. He just sits there and he's just like, whatever. This doesn't even phase me. I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. He, yelling at him doesn't phase him. Um, 
putting it like taking things away it doesn't phase him he just is like cocky he doesn't care he's like i am the boss you are just here to cater to me um so yeah ollie hasn't like ollie doesn't care is it the second child syndrome i'm definitely a soft parent and i kind of feel like my kids are like walking all over me <laughs> um i will say that lily is like extremely respectful and um she knows how to act in public but when she's home with mama she's terrible absolutely terrible like my kids are crazy so lily's teeth i think it, she said in the car that she had to get a cavity filled she she's had nothing but issues with her teeth since she was like literally one years old um living with her dad for this one half a year that she lived with him um she ended up getting bottle rot when she came back to me i got her off the bottle he didn't so she got bottle rot and she ended up getting like her four teeth like covered with caps she was at the park with her dad and fell had to get surgery and get the caps removed along with her teeth because they got infected and she had no front teeth for like a while after that she also had to get a couple teeth pulled along with cavities filled um she's had like such a crazy ride when she was like four she had like all this crazy surgery done um her whole mouth was like swollen um it's been non-stop she had to get a uh, spacer put in because they pulled another tooth and it's like come on now like she's older now this is starting to affect her older teeth um her permanent teeth <laughs> and like i don't really give her like sticky substances like um gummies and stuff like that i do give her like fruit snacks and sometimes like um fruit roll-ups but that's like randomly it's not like uh every day and if it is Lily brushes her teeth constantly here. She brushes in the morning and night. She's flossy now. And she's also doing mouthwash because I think she's at the step where she just starts doing all that stuff. She used to have like the picks, but now she's like doing like actual like flossing. Um, and she didn't like the taste of mouthwash until I found one that I actually think she likes and she does do it now. Um, but this stuff like she's about to get braces she's at the point of getting braces but today she had to get a filling because she had another cavity and i'm trying really hard to work on her teeth and nothing is working because there's no consistency and i've said this multiple times in multiple videos this is just what comes with blending families you can't really do have a say on what's going on in the other house and even if you say something it might not change shit so that's just what's going on um lily had to get a filling and then i'll have to contact about braces and hopefully she can you know get that going in the next couple of months she has another appointment in june and so let's see how well her teeth are going um but yeah that's that and then ollie had no cavities and he has an appointment in june as well so we'll see about his tongue and lip tie when we go there and I'll probably get in this video here because we've had such a chaotic day. I was in and out of the house all day doing stuff and I'm honestly just tired. I told you I babysat Jaden over the weekend and I'm still exhausted from it. So I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.